Okay. Ugh. Goodness graciousness. Ah! Okay, well, we're mostly in the shot. Hey, everybody. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I don't- A little bit? A lot different. I don't really do unboxings here on this channel at all, mostly because I don't really have things to unbox. Like, allow me to unbox my groceries. Well, you do get books from the library. Not right now, not during COVID. Oh, they are doing curbside pickup now. Though, they are, but I, I am too intimidated to try to figure out how, so. Uh. A while back, before things got even worse, we were just doing the shelter in place thing, and I was trying to figure out ways to like help people, especially people who were like not working right now or, and things like that, and I was like, you know, there are places we can donate, but it feel, feels really impersonal to just do that. So. I'm a member of um, an artist group on Facebook, and that gave me the idea of asking artists to link me to their Etsy's so that I could look through and buy art, because that's a really great way to support people, is to buy their stuff. And so I got a whole bunch of links, and I went through every single one, and I looked at all of the art, and unfortunately I couldn't buy everything. I did have to kind of limit, like, I couldn't buy any wall art, because our walls are literally covered right now there's mm -hmm. really no more wall space and I also had to limit I couldn't buy anything too huge right now because I wanted to be able to buy more versus like one big thing but we will be going through what I have gotten I most of it I think has arrived and I'll be highlighting all of the artists of course that's the point of this is to highlight the artists and get you guys thinking about like maybe you would like to go buy some art as well and for the artists that I didn't get to highlight I still plan to go back and look back through again to see if there's anything I want to buy in like a round two. So don't despair completely if, you're, if your art isn't in this unboxing. Jane is here to help. Which one should I start with, Adam? Adam is here to observe. Um, Jane, I chose Jane, all the I art. I liked one of these two. Okay, which one, Jane? This one? Okay. <laughs> You could have the skis off. I do. This one is from Honey Hollow Handmaids. Let's see if there's anything cute on their little slip. Oh, they did write a note. They are apparently close by, actually. I honestly don't know. Who, like, I feel like they might know me, and I don't actually know who they are in real life. What's the name again? Honey Hollow Handmaids, and their note says that uh, I should just message them next time because they're so close, they could just literally drop it off. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel bad that I don't remember who you are, but please, if you're watching this, comment and tell me what an idiot I am because I should know who you are. I can already smell this. It smells so good. It's in a little pouch. Got some little soap samples. Obviously, they make, like, soap, and what I ordered from them, actually, is these essential oil uh, roll-on thingies, which mm -hmm. I wanted to try out. I don't, I'm not one of those people who's like, ooh, essential oils will cure your cancer, but I like the smell, the way they smell, and I want to smell nice, okay. so I grabbed two. We have the Soft Woods. Almond, coconut, fir, needle, lavender, and cedarwood. And mm. shortbread, because sometimes I like things that smell like food. <laughs> Sunflower oil with lemon, vanilla, lavender, and essential oils. And we're just gonna try them. This is the shortbread. Ooh, that smells good. <laughs> you can smell the lemon a lot more than anything else, which I'm in favor yeah. of. I actually tend more towards these masculine smells, like personally. You're wearing them both. Yeah, when I need to rest. That's really good. It, you can definitely, <clears throat> like I was hoping, the lavender and like the, the fur needle are the strongest smells in this one. And I really appreciate that. Those are like two of my favorite smells, so. I didn't actually pick out a place to put things when I'm finished opening them, so I guess right down there. The floor oh, I'm sorry. Jane, floor. would you like to pick another one? Are you done, Jane? <laughs> He's done. He's like, I participated. That's it. We're I picked done. the best. That's all. That is all. He's now glaring with disdain, so I'm just going to pick this one. I picked the dull scissors. <laughs> Look at I got a little card. And, okay, Stoltz Craft with a K is the name of her store. This is some of the jewelry. Okay, this is the coffin necklace. 
they do coffin jewelry. You guys can see that okay, but it's very pretty and yes. Okay. I'll just wear this coffin necklace and not be morbid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Adam, which one do we open next? <clears throat> I'm tempted to trade out my work cookie monster with this cookie monster because my work cookie monster looks sad. And Aww. Some And this cookie monster is like, Yay! Hey, you can do that. And then leave the sad one for filming. Which one next, Adam? This one? Books. Okay, this is from Grateful Bones. You may notice a theme on one of the artists that I chose. A morbid theme. Yes, <laughs> yes. Totally not fitting. A lot color. of like like the a lot of these are millennials. Uh, their art tends to be a bit oh my goodness, Jane. You will not get this. Is he one. rolling on top of something that, yes. that he wants me to open next? <laughs> well, it's either that or he wants you to open it last. Grateful bones, bone jewelry, and home decor. What I got from them is actually not bones, but it is part of an animal. It is a butterfly wing necklace. So it's a butterfly wing underneath a magnifying like piece of glass, so you can ah. really see it. I'll check that out. See if I can center it. That is very cool. And they do have a lot of like bone themed stuff, but I liked the butterfly wing. Adam's gonna untangle that, and I'm gonna open this one from uh, Christy Grace. It has a little seal on the front. It's a seal. You get it? <laughs> it's giving a little thumbs uh, up. I get it. I get it. Do you get it? I do get it. And this one is stickers. First, we have a rat having tea. And then we have. I mean, look at those gams. This cute otter. I really loved Christy's art. She has a lot of like wall art, and like I said, I really couldn't go f for any of that. But stickers, I could do, and these <laughs> were very cute. And the rats and otters are two of my favorite animals, so I couldn't resist. <clears throat> Her store is the art of Christy Grace. And now I have to figure out where I'm going to put my stickers. That's the that's the big problem, because I want to put them somewhere nice. Alright, let's open this one. This one has a shit ton of stamps on it, but a lot of them are guide dogs, I think. I don't know. You guys want to see? This is from So Trashy Art. So it's spelled S-E-W. I did it. Yay! Alright, so what did I get from So Trashy Art? Let's see if I can remember. This might also be jewelry. I'm just going to be covered in jewelry. <laughs> it is. Oh, I was really excited about this one, actually. Why? It is, it's like, like, it's birds on a wire, but I'm just, like, it is a unique choice for a necklace. Is it a necklace? Yeah. Or is it just a hand? It's a necklace. So here's, here it is. A little necklace here. I really like that sort of stark aesthetic, and it drew me. It's still where it got a price tag on it because clearly it was at a craft fair before it came to me. <laughs> this is a really interesting clasp too. Check this out. It's like like this instead of a normal clasp. This one feels like I could break it though so I'm gonna have to be careful. What well, next Adam? I've been like three things. a good resty post. So okay. I'm gonna leave him. So let's uh let's do let's the magical one. Magical patterns. Obviously, they do a lot with patterns, and again, this is one where like I think they had wall art, but I, like I said, couldn't really do that. So instead, I got this. I can get it out of all of the wrapping. It's shiny. Well, the wrapping is shiny. Here is the bookmark. Now, you guys who are familiar with my channel know that I don't really use bookmarks, but this is going to be my read-along bookmark, so that I stop using a fucking Kleenex <laughs> as my bookmark <laughs> during my read-alongs. <clears throat> it's very pretty. Where will you stow your emergency Kleenex then? I guess I'll just have to live without an emergency Kleenex. Hey, I know. Yeah. Who's the big one? Okay. This one is from another Emily. Some of you guys might not know that's my actual first name. I just don't use it because it's kind of boring. No offense to my parents. They just gave me a, a kind of boring first name. Oh, this is from a leather worker who I think might be a little bit starting out and I didn't want to get stuff that like seemed really normal and average so I looked for something unusual on her page because I know lots of leather workers and I'm like, what could I not necessarily get from one of them? Indeed. 
And so, what I ended up with, what is the name of her store? Did I say? You did not. Norn Designs. N O R N Designs. I guess so they do leather. This is a dice tray Ooh. for you to roll your dice into when you're playing D&D &D or something so they don't go rolling all over the table. But that's half the fun, knocking over other people's minis and stuff with your dice. <laughs> yeah, ah. they, nine times out of ten they just fall on the floor. So you can see there's a cool design inside it. Looks very, it reminds me a lot of like some covers I've seen of uh, The Hobbit. Indeed. So I'm hoping to use this if we were ever able to play uh, tabletop games again with our friends. Indeed. Because tabletop games with our friends have kind of been canceled. <laughs> Thanks, COVID. I am going to put my other delightful things inside of my dice tray. It can be used for other things. They also are like you can put your remote controls in it or, you know, whatever <laughs> you want. But... I will use it for the advertised purpose of dice tray. <laughs> but they do have lots of other leather stuff, so if you're like looking for a leather artist, check them out for sure. She was very excited that I ordered. Like none of the other creators sent me like a message after I'd ordered, but she sent me three actually because she sent the first one and then it it like came three times. <laughs> <laughs> like thanks for buying the dice tray over like three times. Jane? Jane does not care. Jane has nothing but disdain for this whole situation. <laughs> Which one, Adam? Let's do that one. This one? The one. This one is from... Oh, this is another from Honey Bee? Is that the first one that I got from? Or is this a different person with a bee theme? No, that's... The first one is Honey Hollow. This one is Honey <clears throat> Bee Creations. It is very well taped shut. I'm a little worried. Oh no, it's ruined. No, it is. Okay, this is a little keychain. They have a lot of hanging art, and I couldn't really do that either because we literally have so much hanging art. It's hanging double, triple the hook around here for hanging art. That is like keychain we can manage. Yeah, Adam, just look over at the thing by our window where we have hanging two different wind chimes <laughs> <laughs> and a wreath that I haven't taken down from Christmas because that's who I am as a person. All right, so we have our keychain. Looks like this one came loose a little bit, but I can just use the pliers to put that on. I think they both goes on here. But I can show you part of it is this little turn turtle. This little turtle who doesn't want to face the camera. Turtle. He's so cute. And then the other portion that <clears throat> just needs to be put back on is this tassely bit. Tassely thing. Mostly I'm in it for the turtle, I'll be real, but the tassley thing is cute too. So that was Honey Bee Creations, spelled with a K, because nobody spells creations with a C anymore. That That's canceled. Spelling creations. Spelling creations with a C is canceled. <coughs> oh my gosh, I have sunburn really bad on the back of my neck, and the necklaces are like <laughs> digging in. This one first? Yep. This How is from, oh I know who this is from. This is from... A friend of mine, well, at least an acquaintance of mine, I guess I can't be presumptuous and assume we're friends. I mean, they can be your friends. You don't have to be That's their friends. That's true. It is, is a little ace octopus. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He is going to hang out with Spider, and soon I will have a collection of unusual creatures that are... All just so happen to be ace. They all happen to be asexual. There's no packing slip. Um, I will really quick try to research the name of her store. <clears throat> Probably something creations with a K. Probably something creations with a K. Okay, it's by Kit Designs by Kith. Kit Designs by Kith. Well, there was the K's, but there was no creation. There was no creation, so she gets extra credit for that. It could have been Kit's creation. I suspect I might not have gotten a packing slip because we know each other. <laughs> and she was just like, you Julian doesn't need a packing slip. Indeed. She knows who the fuck I am. Alright. Save the Alright, and here's the last one. Oh, this one is also from a, a, a friend of mine who I will presume that we are indeed friends. From her store is called Wendy Bird. And I could not, even though she she didn't actually drop her store in my uh asking for 
people to leave me their Etsy links, I was like, well, I can't not, while I'm here on Etsy, buy something from her store, so. They have a lot of really unique stuff. So if you're looking for something that's like unusual and will stand out, check out Wendy Bird. They tape this really fucking well. <laughs> like, holy shit. Was this box fused together by ancient magics? Maybe. Do you need assistance? I got it. You sure? Yes. Here's their card. The cute little design on there. Oh, and I get a little pin. Goblin pin. <laughs> this is, I bought a window ghoul. So let's find out about him. Window ghouls, sometimes described by goblin folk as crypt imps, may appear creepy in their initial appearance, but it comes with the territory. These corpuscular creatures are meant to keep unwanted spirits and bad magic from entering your home, and inversely serve as a beacon of safety to creatures of light. In order to get the full effect, move your friend to a window facing the biggest plot of dirt. Well, we are pretty much surrounded by, like, large... <coughs> Plots of that is the largest open plot. Yeah, I mean, there's a field way. that way, but I think I think we've got a lot of f sort of feral land around us, so I think any of it would work for my creature, for my little friend. Oh, I got a I got a ten percent coupon for my next ghoul. <laughs> In case we need to cover more windows, all of their creations have like their own personalities and stories and like backstories. This is Denny, the ghoul that I bought. <laughs> So why don't Adam, you want to unwrap Denny while I read you his his backstory? Is this the great Lord Denny? I don't know if he's a great lord. We'll find out. Though each window ghoul has its own set of unique skills and traits, it's broadly accepted that generally most have the strength of remaining steadfast in their vigils. Look at Denny. He looks like a steadfast sort. Look at him. Look at him. He's got like a little troll hair going on. <laughs> and his arms are leaves. Here, you continue to display Denny while I... Denny diverges a bit from this commonality. You may find them distracted at times, with their gaze turned from their posts, with their head in the clouds. I would, I would get one that's, like, distracted. <laughs> that's me. Nothing to worry about, though. They are still pretty aware of what's going on around them. They have a floaty disposition, but will remain grounded and loyal as ever. When the time came for an ambiguous creator of such things to design Denny to their specific task, they noticed that Denny's eyes seemed wider than most ghouls. The creator gently cradled Denny in their hand. Their body turned this way and that. Oh, Denny goes by they-them pronouns. Trying to make sense of the bright world they had just been born into. It was later... It was a later spring day in this realm, and as a dandelion seed floated by, the creator watched Denny's gaze, watched as Denny's gaze turned to the seed as he methodically cataloged its jaunty flight path. Denny's gifts came to them all at once. The creator smiled, a patient smile at Denny. Denny, I will bestow you with a blessing and skill. May you serve as the anchor to which all life drifts through sea and sky. Confident that its tether, however long, will soon guide guide it to its resting place, where it will soon bloom into its next stage of life. Denny nodded. The creator had named him right. Oh, here he goes by him. Or perhaps, like many people, Denny goes by they, them, or he, him pronouns. Denny brings this assurance to your dwelling that all wandering seeds will find their home and bless your land with abundance of flowers, plants, and life. Well, Denny, you're going to like it here. They will <laughs> protect your lands from any force that seeks to strike one down in their whimsical pursuits or cut off growth in any form. How magical that you two have found one another. I think Denny's going to fit right in. We'll just have to figure out which window to place him, them, in. Oil, dice tray... Denny, well, he won't stay there. He's not. He's supposed to sit in a window. <coughs> Denny and the squid. We're not cooperating with each Denny, other. Denny, Denny, Denny and the squid. All right, looks like I received everything in this particular big order. So we have finished our unboxing. I'm going to go put more deliciously smelly stuff on me until I smell so good mm -mm. and find a good window wherein Zenny can find a home, probably looking out at green and growing things, since that seems to be their jam. And if you guys want to buy from any of these artists, you should. You should definitely do that. Go check all of them out. They have a lot more art than what you've seen from me here today, 
So, do you have anything more to say, Adam? What do you think of my purchases? I made all of these without consulting him. <laughs> the Flutterby pendant might be my favorite, but there were uh, many interesting finds overall. I, I don't know if I could pick a favorite, but I am very fond of this coffin necklace and also the birds on the wire. And yeah, I'm really actually just fond of everything. <laughs> all of my great finds super excited and if you are looking to support people in this time of pandemic and you're like I don't know how to do it go on Etsy and try to find some artists bonus points if they are artists that don't have a big following and just buy something from them and help them out if you want to buy something from me I don't have an Etsy but if you like my art it can be found on my Redbubble store so go buy yourself a t-shirt or like a fucking bath mat or something. They have all kinds of products. <laughs> all right, that's it for today. This was a little weird. I usually do bookish and writerly content here on this channel, so feel free to wander around, see what you can see. You can also support me over on Patreon, where for as little as a dollar a month, you get exclusive content not seen here on the regular channel. And you can also follow me on all of my social medias, linked in the doobly-doo. Otherwise, just stay tuned for me and Adam on Saturdays and the rest of my videos on Mondays and Fridays. All right, everybody. Bye! Whoa, look out! It's time for patrons! Those patrons are Adrienne, Amanda, Artemis, Irene, Jenny, Jesper, Lisa, Ray, Ryakio, Sabby Panda, Savvy, Scribbling Cat, Shelby, and Zaire. Whoa, look out. Oh, they're so awesome. Check them all out. Raindrops on roses and whiskers on kittens. Bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. Brown paper packages tied up with strings. These are a few of my favorite things.